The reintroduction of the Greater Stickness Rat to Mallee Cliffs National Park is a significant step in the conservation of this really endangered and uh, nationally iconic species. We hope that this reintroduction will be successful and the population will establish and it'll be here for, for generations to come. We're here tonight at Mallee Cliffs National Park inside the 9,500 hectare feral predator free fenced area uh, that we've established in partnership with the New South Wales uh, National Parks and Wildlife Service. Uh, it's an exciting partnership between AWC and New South Wales Government to reintroduce 10 regionally extinct mammals into this uh, feral predator free area. One of those uh, regionally extinct mammals is the greater stick nest rat. It's really exciting. You know, the last time they were found in New South Wales in the wild was over 160 years ago. So, you know, this is a release of a, a locally extinct mammal. So it is really exciting. The rats are um, surprisingly cute and really quite incredible. You know, incredible engineers and, you know, to see them back in the wild is going to be pretty special. This morning, the greatest stick nest rats were collected from Monado Zoo and loaded into little transport boxes. Uh, they were put onto a light aircraft and flown across the border into New South Wales. We collected the boxes from the plane and took them to our local depot where we processed the animals. That involved taking genetic samples, uh, all sorts of physical measurements. We also fitted VHF collars to uh, half of those animals. That will enable us to monitor their survival after release into the park here. It is the biggest feral predator free fenced area in mainland Australia. It's around the outside it goes for about 37 kilometres and encompasses around nine and a half thousand hectares. It was started at the start of May 2019 and was finished by August 2019 so around 12 weeks to construct and finish the fence for us to start our eradication program. We got the last cat was in November 2019 and we got the last fox in 2020 on the 20th of February. So tonight we've released the greater stick nest rats into what we call soft release pens. These are small fenced areas that have cover and vegetation in them that allow the rats to adjust to their new environment. And then following that period, we'll open up those pens and release them in into the wider uh, 9,500 hectare fenced area. Uh, then for a period of about three months, we'll monitor their survival. Uh, during that time, we'll also undertake some health assessment surveys at different intervals uh, to make sure that everything is, is okay with the new population. The greater stick nest rat is the second regionally extinct mammal species that we've released here into Mallee Cliffs National Park following uh, the greater bilby in October last year. Uh, that population is now established and doubled in size uh, and is, is doing very well. We hope that uh, the rats being released in this environment will achieve the same outcome for that species. Uh, and in the year to come, there'll be uh, eight other regionally extinct mammals that we'll be aiming to release into this area. This is a partnership and it's a really important partnership with the New South Wales National Parks and Wildlife, Australian Wildlife Conservancy, and with this greater stick nest rat with the Monato Zoo. So a really good collaborative project with um, you know, a great result. I am very proud, the whole team's proud. We do this because we love this field, but it means now that we can start the process of reintroducing animals back into this area that haven't been here for probably over 100 years. It's quite an achievement and we've got more to go in in the future. So I am very proud to be part of this and so is the team that I work with.